debuting at the Geneva Motor Show in 2008. Ford Cougar showed all the world's manufacturers what a good European crossover should be and what marketing policy should not be. The fact is that all the first samples of this SUV had a very controversial technical solution. American four-wheel drive with a diesel and only a manual sounds as ridiculous as a flashlight powered by a solar battery. And yet, if you do not take into account the origin, the Cougar is a very interesting and technological representative of the crossover family. Yes and in operational terms, it is completely not a miss. True, there are some nuances that need to be sorted out. As mentioned earlier, at first the brainchild of Ford was equipped with only one diesel engine, 2.0 Duratorque TDCI, 136 horsepower. Realizing their mistake and missing out on some potential customers, the company, a year after the start of sales, launched a model with a 2.5 liter gasoline turbo engine, 200 horsepower, on the market. And only in 2010 a more powerful version of the original engine appeared, Duratorque TDCI, 163 horsepower. The gasoline power plant does not have any special technical miscalculations, except that fuel consumption over 20L-100 km depresses the owner somewhat. The 5-speed, automatic, working in tandem with it can also be considered relatively trouble-free. The upgraded diesel engine, 163 horsepower also continues the list of reliable components of the model, and the six-speed robot aggregated with it is completely worthy of any praise, unlike similar mechanisms of its closest competitors. However, this is where the ode to Cougar reliability in terms of powertrains can be completed. The reason for this is the very first and most massive crossover engine, TDCI 136 horsepower, or rather, its system, which is responsible for the environmental friendliness of the exhaust. It is based on a particulate filter that traps heavy particles, DPF, diesel particulate filter. At speeds up to 80 km h instead of passive regeneration, active regeneration began, which, with our diesel fuel quality, quickly clogged the filter. As a result, a sharp loss of power and pop-up red banners on the instrument panel. Replacing the filter is a very expensive pleasure, because most owners went to different tricks. Someone carried out force regeneration at the service station, someone opened the filter housing and burned it with a gas cutter. Naturally, there were also those who were engaged in auto surgery, they removed the element and reflashed the computer. One way or another, you will have something to do on the weekend if you have chosen this motor and often stand in traffic jams. But with the six-speed manual transmission there are no problems. The gears shift easily, and the clutch, during normal operation, nurses about 110,000 kilometers. Differential pressure sensor failures and flywheel warpage stand apart. These problems cannot be classified as systematic, but, nevertheless, they significantly spoiled the nerves of some owners. Here, as you please. Consequences of high pressure. Ford Cougar cannot be called an SUV, but it justifies the fashionable title of crossover 100%. Its all-wheel drive system is based on the famous ultra-fast Halvix clutch. It is enough for the wheels of the front axle to idle only about half a turn before the rear axle is put into operation. To make this possible, the engineers used a hydraulic pump that constantly maintains pressure in the system. Due to this, the closing of the friction discs occurs in a matter of seconds. However, it should be understood that constant overpressure is harmful not only to people, but also to mechanisms. Cases of failure of the pump by 50,000 kilometers are far from rare so abuse off-road qualities is not worth it. In addition, off-road, you can easily tear off beautiful bumpers and damage the ABS sensors. Independent suspension of all wheels is a tradition in the design of crossovers. The difference in the approach of the companies can only be in the settings, either comfort or handling. The creators of the Ford Cougar, of course, went the second way and did not fail. Not only does the car feel great on the pavement, but also the chassis resource turned out to be such that some competitors can only envy. For example, consumables, stabilizer struts, steering tips, sometimes take care of 120,000 kilometers, shock absorbers and silent blocks of levers live a little more. Ball bearings are quietly operated up to 80,000 kilometers. By modern standards, this is just a fantastic result. Wheel bearings of both axles and brake pads act as a fly in the ointment. Depending on the driving style, their resource can be 30 to 70,000 kilometers. The most common nuisance that Ford off-road vehicle owners face is burned out low beam bulbs. 
it sometimes comes to the point that the frequency of their replacement can be up to one set in two months. However, now you can find diode analogs, the service life of which is much longer. The windshield is also working on the deterioration of visibility, which by 150,000 kilometers requires replacement due to clouding. And it lies in the fact that the leather cover of the manual transmission handle cracks, bursts, and comes into a disgusting state in just a couple of months of driving. Buying an original casing will please no longer. Therefore, there is only one logical conclusion, to pick up threads, high-quality material and learn to sew. This is exactly what most owners did. The last contribution to the treasury of problems is made by the failures of the voice control unit, the glove box closers and the ignition of the heated washer nozzles, because of which Ford staged a recall campaign. Of course, we have listed quite a few reasons that can repel a buyer from a used Ford Cougar. But judge for yourself, reliable, on the technical side, engines, gearboxes, suspension. Is this not enough? Already now you can find the owners of this car, who drove 300,000 kilometers without any special worries. Just before purchasing this crossover, you should definitely carry out a complete diagnosis and answer one question for yourself, will the whole family fit into this car, or not? This is worth thinking about, the crossover does not shine with internal space.